They say Falion of Morthal has studied vampires, Draugr, and all matter of undead. I know when one should speak, and when one should hold their tongue. Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Okay, here goes. I have so very many ways to deal with people. Very few of them pleasant. By the blood of my ancestors. She actually did it. Created a portal with a soul kit. Incredible. Always remember, the world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. The Soul Cairn is a tiny sliver of oblivion, the realm of the Daedra. It's ruled by unseen beings known as the Ideal Masters. Honestly, I don't know. Necromancers are always interested in souls, though, so that probably has some kind of interest. Surely you have something better to do. Let's try to handle this quickly. I have so very many ways to deal with people, very few of them pleasant. And always remember, the world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. Thank you. 
few can resist my charms. Even fewer are worthy of them. Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. I know when one should speak, and when one should hold their tongue. Very many ways to deal with people. Very few of them pleasant. And always remember, the world is ripe with people looking to spill them. Surely you have something better to do. I like to think I've aged well. Even fewer are worthy of them.
know when one should speak, and when one should... Hmm. All right. I have so very many ways to deal with people. Very few of them pleasant. What was that? Thought I heard something. Dedication. Then always remember, the world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. Surely you have something better to do. Few can resist my charms. Even fewer are worthy of them. How dare they cast me from the battle spire! I will make them pay dearly. So this is what it's like on the other side. I know when one should speak, and when one should hold their tongue. You must help me find my Arvac! He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this! Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. So very many ways to deal with people. Please, he's such many a loyal people. creature, and he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. Arvac, Arvac, where are you? Arvac, please come back, come back. But always remember. The world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. Surely you have something better to do.
Well, look what we have here. Someone with flesh on their bones. Let's just say I sold something to a guy who turned out to work for a whole coven of necromancers. How in the name of Zenithar was I to know the ingredients were phony? Do I look like someone that would double-cross a necromancer? You got it. Horse, wagon, and all. Plopped here without so much as a word. I used to be one of the best traders in High Rock, you know. Oh, people would track me down just to see what I had for sale. Very funny. And what exactly are you going to pay me with? Take a look around. Gold doesn't exactly win you any friends around here. I'll tell you what. I appreciate what you're trying to do, so I'll play along. The only thing I see around here in abundance are soul husks. Uh, you know, those ugly fungus-looking things growing out of the ground. Surely you have something better to do. Bring me, say, 25 of them, and you can rummage through what was left on my cart. Odds and ends I've gathered over the years. Well, used to gather, before all of this nonsense happened to me. Tell me what you're looking for, and maybe we can make a deal, if you have the husks. No husks, no sale. Guess you have some scavenging to do. Few can resist my charms. Even fewer are worthy of them. I have so very many ways to deal with people. Very few of them pleasant. And always remember, the world is right with people looking to spill your blood. I know when one should speak.
Surely you have something better to do. You can resist my charms, even if you are worthy of them. Is there some way I can assist you? Let me know if you need anything. Surely you have something better to I have so very many ways to deal with people. Very few of them pleasant.
I like to think I've aged well. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We are here to complete the prophecy our way, not his. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire of mixed blood is in the company of my daughter? Safe? You, can resist you call challenge. bringing her here safe? Has she explained nothing to you? Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. When I fled Castle Volgahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's Bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Like myself, Serana was a human prince. We were devout followers of Lord Molik Bol. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molik Bol on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. And how exactly do you plan on completing the prophecy without the death of my daughter? If you believe that, then you're a bigger fool sure, than I originally that. suspected. Don't you think I weighed that option before I enacted my plans? You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. You see the tyranny of the sun as your chance at deification. And like Harkon, you won't hesitate to destroy anything that stands in your path. Serana? This stranger may call herself a vampire, but she knows nothing of our struggle. Why should I entrust you to her? This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known her than you've done in centuries. How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father! Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? Oh, Serana, if you'd only open your eyes... The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again, but I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us, but we have to stop him before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. 
Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me, but for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Yes, I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their no, bases, no the barrier's them. energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevir roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Be careful, and keep my daughter safe. The quicker we find the keepers, the quicker we can leave. Surely you have something better to do. Always remember, the world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. Few can resist my charms. Even fewer are worthy of them. <laughs> <laughs> 